What is going on, guys? It is Christian Spencer from Oklahoma Outdoorsman here. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but I'm hoping that with the new year approaching, I'll be able to pump out some new videos for you. The video I'm going to be doing right now is my EDC for, well, it's going to be the start of 2019. This is what I have been carrying with me now. Uh... It, pretty much every day on my person or really close to where I'm going to be. The only thing that is never, that is not on my person at all times is actually the notebook that I have right here. And that is just because it's too big to fit in my pocket. But I do like to use it for jotting down notes. comes with a tree branch pencil and I do use it for jotting down notes every now and then. But... That's the only thing that I do not keep on my person at all times. Other than that, the rest of this is all on my person. Let's get started on this, though. I already showed you, first off, the leather. It's uh, Indian leather. Just a cheaper leather notebook. I actually got this from my grandmother. She knows that I love writing down notes and everything. So I got that. That is for my writing. And then we got one of the most important things of EDC is actually my keys. You see my keys, all I do is I keep them with uh, my key fob, car key, a whistle, and then regular key. Normally there's a uh, pocket sized knife on here as well. And then I've got it all on a uh, carabiner that I just hook onto my back belt loop and into my back pocket. And that's the second on my EDC. For knives, I keep a couple of them on me at all times, but the one that is second most easily accessible is actually going to be my neck knife. It's just a cheap neck knife. I actually got this one from our local Rattlesnake Derby, just a giant flea market really. But uh, it came with a fire starter, but the flint actually broke off inside of here and the rubber piece to pull it out broke. So, I keep this around my neck, though. It fits nice. You shake it, it won't come out. I just tied it. If you can see right here, there is a hole that I just put some uh, 330 paracord through. Holds in really well. That's my first knife. And then everything else, I uh, kind of keep inside this pouch. Well, besides the knife that I keep on my belt at all times, it's actually upstairs being sharpened right now. But uh, I keep this pouch. I got it on Amazon. It is just a tactical pouch. I normally have my phone in it as well, but I'm actually using my phone to record because I can't find my GoPro. So uh, phone's recording right now. It's just a Galaxy S9 Plus, but it's normally in this as well. Let's get started on this though. That comes with a pin pocket, and I keep a guard dog tactical pin. Comes with a window breaker on the tip, and then all aluminum construction and a great pocket clip. But I keep it on the pouch, so it actually has to physically screw off right there and then puts on, and it gives you a writing, writing utensil. And yes, it does write. It takes nearly any refill that you can think of. I have been putting G2 refills in it. That's just my personal preference until I can get some uh, space grade ones. But tactical pin is in the first pocket. And then unclip this. And I keep, if I'm going to work, I always keep a razor knife in here and a couple extra blades. So there's my razor knife for work, just a cheap Sheffield. Always, always keep a multi-tool with me. No matter where I go, I've used this multiple times. It has gotten me, it has helped me through a lot whenever it comes to uh, camping or just work around at the house. Helps a lot. Having an inexpensive tool on you that works great this is just a cheap walmart mossy oak tool that i use 
it just comes with a saw and a nail file and deep uh, what's it called a uh, deep tooth saw flathead screwdriver or scraper and then a smaller flathead other side it has a Phillips a uh, duller knife I use this for like my nails if I'm trying to cut back my cuticles and then it has a bottle opener and this is the first bottle opener I've seen like this that is actually dual and this bottle opener works really well and then it just comes with a fairly sharp knife that works pliers they uh, they they're great <laughs> and then the uh, nail cutters but that's my multi-tool that I keep on me so just a, uh, a multi-tool in general is something you should always carry and then as far as one of my flashlights, I've been carrying the Olight S1R Baton 2. This is the small flashlight from Olight. Small but very bright. 1000 lumens at its max. It is extremely bright. There will be a, a separate video going on about the Olight S1R Baton. Because that is a wonderful flashlight. I am not sponsored by Olight, but I just want to tell you that is honestly my favorite thing in my EDC right now. But continuing, that's all for the outside of my pouch. The rest of the stuff will be inside my front pocket here. I carry my a backup flashlight. This is just a cheap flashlight. Pin light works really well. It's only about 150 lumens compared to the Olight's 1,000 lumens, though. And then I carry a couple folders. This is actually my Kershaw, and let's see if I can find the number. Kershaw 1302BW. This knife has uh, worked well for me. I've had this for probably two years now, and it's I've sharpened it multiple times. It still manages to hold a uh, fairly good edge. Passes paper test, Tanto blade, so I use it for work most of the time if I'm cutting bands or anything. I work at a lumber yard, so everything's always banded together. Use it to cut bands. But wonderful knife. It's a Kershaw knife. And then I have also got another knife by Kershaw. This is the 1310WM by Kershaw. It's a tiny knife. It actually this was one of my favorite EDC knives until that pocket clip broke off right there. Now it just kind of stays inside this pocket of my pouch, and it works. It's very sharp. I uh, I try and keep a good edge on all my knives, but I try and keep a an especially good edge on this one. And like I said, normally I also keep one on my belt. I uh, have a fixed blade uh, Camillus, one that you can get in a pack at Walmart. Keep that on my belt loop front uh, appendix carry, basically, like you would a firearm. Then I've got my wallet. This is just a uh, spring-assisted cheapo wallet. I'm not going to show you all my cards or anything, but it holds about eight cards. All you do is uh, have a little lever down here. You just push the lever. Works just like that. Fans them out. I've only got five cards in there right now. I keep that in there. Uh, on my wallet, the only thing that I keep that really matters is this little you uh, little survival tool. It's cheap. I've got a bunch of them. I got another one right here, actually. They're cheap. They work, though. I keep one on my wallet just in case I ever need like another tool and I don't have my multi-tool. But... Then my license on the front for my forklift and everything else is inside my wallet. But as far as inside the pouch, I also normally carry a set of headphones inside of here. I'm using those to as a lapel mic right now, so that's why. And then this pouch is, it's a good pouch. I hook it onto my belt, but it can also be hooked onto any Molly. It comes with some Molly webbing packs right here. And you can run these through just like this onto any Molly that you want. Um, 
I'm going to be getting a couple more, not exactly like this, but uh, Molly panels. And I'm going to have some put in my truck. I'll have Molly pouches put in my truck, so you'll be able to see that in an upcoming video. But this is what I have for now, and uh, it works great. I'm able to keep all of this stuff, plus a, another knife, my radio, and trying to think of what else. I keep my radio on me whenever I'm at work. Uh, the knife stays on my belt loop. Besides that, I think that's pretty much all I carry. Oh, here. Wife just got brought back. And there's my Camillus knife that I carry. I just run this through my belt loop and hook it on. Normally it stays just like this. Right in front where the uh, belt latches. So I can just pull it out right there. This is just a cheap Camillus knife that you can get at Walmart. It's really sharp sharpened it but another great knife and this right here all fits into this pouch it uh it just works for me i recommend using one of these it helps you stay organized and uh the only thing i don't like about this pouch is whenever i am getting in my car i have to take it off otherwise it droops to the side if i'm getting like a card or something out it's it's hard to get it out so if I am gonna be in my car I always only hook it one time it, it works it's just I need I need something a little better for it and then everything just fits back in here perfectly just like so just like that and then my phone will go inside this back pouch along with my headphones inside that mesh pouch. And then neck knife will obviously go around my neck. This one will go back on my belt. These will go on my back belt loop into my back pocket. And this I carry around with me or it'll stay in my truck or if I'm going inside it goes inside with me. But yeah guys that is my EDC what I keep on my person. I'm only 19 so I don't have a firearm at the moment but whenever I turn... 21 you can bet that I will also include a firearm But anyway guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like comment subscribe and Be sure to stick around and watch more videos that I'm gonna post so guys I Hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year Keep me in mind and I will see you next time. Peace out